think I messed up. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. Yep, I'm live. Hi, you guys. I think I messed up. I forgot to title this. I forgot to title my project. Oh, well, I'll title it when we're all done. Let me see if you can hear me. Let's see. Hang on. Um, hi, <laughs> if you can hear me. Uh, where am I? Let's see. There. Uh, let's see. And there. Yep, you can uh, hear where me. Am I? Okay, hi. Just double checking everything, making sure we are good. Uh, let's see. So, the first thing I'll tell you is um, you'll want to, like, you can see me this way, and then you'll just need to turn your phone. Oops, and you can see it bigger screened. Okay, so just turn your phone and um, that'll change it to landscape and you'll be able to see it a little bit bigger. So hello and welcome. Yay. Hi, Ellen. You caught me live. Wow. Hi. And Dawn is here too. So hi, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have a little project that I want to do today. Make sure my glue gun's on. I'm all set. It shouldn't take us too long. I have this old drawer front and I went ahead <clears throat> and I took the knob out from where it was here and I put it at the bottom of the old drawer front. It's just, it was just old, an old drawer front. I'm going to cough. Hey, Mary. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, everybody. So, um, I want to make this like a, uh, like a, wall decor, I guess, is what I'm thinking. And um, so I pulled a picture, just a copy of a picture, and I stitched with the um, z uh, zigzag stitch. Let me see if I can get it up here where you guys can see it. Yeah, you can make it out. It's right along here. You can kind of see it better down here. And then I left the strings long. We'll see what we want to do with that. And then I um, added ink and you guys know about inking, I'm sure. Um, just use your little dauber and some ink um, in the little pad, the little stamp pad and um, do that. So I did that. Hi everybody. There's Lisa and Norma and Jennifer. Hi. Oh, I already said hi to Jennifer. <laughs> Debbie. Hi everybody. <laughs> um, oh, that's so sweet, Debbie. Uh, I hope everyone's having a blessed day also. Oh, I probably should clean my glasses. My husband's always like, your glasses are always so dirty. So, um, I don't even notice it. <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to do, let's see, I'm going to do that and I'm going to go here. There we go. So now you guys can see a close up of what I'm doing and you can also see me if you want to. So I'm going to, first of all, um, I want to, I want a little bit of lace hanging off and I, I really have laid this out. I kind of know where I'm going. So it's a matter of just putting it all together with you. Um, and I'm going to add a piece of lace. I wonder how I could... I hate to just whack it off, but I don't really know. Hmm. Unless I miter it. I wonder if I can do that. I've never done that before. Let's see here if we can do that. I think I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to try something I've never done before because I just don't want it to be straight cut off. So I'm going to make it bigger. You know, guys, I've shown you guys I've been doing that kind of here lately. What kind of glue do I want to use? There's so many glues. I never know what kind. So let's go with this. I'm going to go with tacky glue. Um, tacky glue sets up really quick. Now, why is it not all squished down here? I've had it upside down. There we go. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to run some tacky glue. You guys tell me what kind of glue you would use. Tell me what you think. I probably have it here. I have I have three in one hot glue. I have all kinds of glues. All right, so I'm going to make this bigger than it needs to be without cutting my strings. And I'll show you what I'm thinking. Uh, okay, I don't want to cut my strings. Let's put our strings underneath the picture here. Um, okay, who's noticing my new table? I changed out my table, how I've had it. And uh, I kind of like it. So, all right, let's then, uh, let me 
think about how to do <laughs> this. I show you guys all the time. Oh, this is all you do. But now I'm like, hmm. Okay, so I've got it here. And then you just came in from my, oh, Sue, it is hot. That's what my husband is doing right now as we speak. So I don't want that. Hmm, I'm not sure. I guess I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, if I can figure out how to do it, it'll be great. Okay, all right, let, okay. So, all right. So I'm just going to put a dot here, if you guys can tell. Okay, so I, so, let me find the camera here. I strung it out longer than the project, and then I'm going to lay another piece just across, okay? And then we're going to miter it, and I'm going to see if I can't get that scallop to go, like, all the way around. I'm getting fancy. <laughs> let's just, let's just say I might be getting over my head fancy here. But I think it's going to be cool. Let's see if we can do it. What the heck? I can still pull it off. It's not, you know, that wet, whatever. It'll be fine. Okay. I can still pull it off and start over. I don't know why I didn't think ahead that the, that was going to bug me. All right. So I laid it down. And so it's an, it's an X over top of itself. See that? Now I'm going to take some scissors here. And I'm going straight in from the corner where they overlap and I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut, let's see if I get my scissors underneath this, get my scissors under, there we go, and I'm going to cut it, maybe, it's not one to cut where I glued it, okay, let's see, we'll just see how we are, all right, let me put it down, then I'm going to pull away top part Let's cut that off I'm making this look way more difficult than it needs to be uh, it didn't work let me see why didn't it work did I twist it oh, what did I do I don't know what I did one of these angles has to work hang on all right I didn't do it right this time but I think it's still I think I can still make it work is it this one that I Oh, yeah, I just pulled off both sides. Okay, it's going to work. All right, so I'm going to lay this back down. I'm going to get it where it needs to be. And there we go. Oh, but now it needs to go on around. See that? Now it needs to go on around. Boy, I'm really making this. But it's going to be so cute. Are you guys following me? You got questions? Oh, hi, Jan. You just got notified. Well, there's lots of ways to get notified. Um, that I'm going live. Um, you can text. There is at the top, uh, the very first post at the top of my page is a link tree. I was thinking about this earlier because there was a lady that I, I was like, I love everything she's doing. I want to, oh, see, I can't, how am I going to do that? Hmm. Am I just going to, how am I going to do that? Mm, I might not be able to do, I might have to leave it, but look, see how it turned the corner, but now I need it to turn another corner. So what, do I have to angle that again? Is that, is this worth all this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like cut it, then glue. Yeah, that's what I did. So I've got that part, but then see, it needs to go on around. So I'm going to try it again. I'm just going to do the same thing again. Let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna, let's see, I want it to go this way. Right now I'm getting myself all confused. I'm gonna have to cover it up with buttons. I, <laughs> I don't think I can figure it out. Hi Randy Reed, I'm good. Hi Lori. Um, so okay, grab a pencil and paper. I'll try to remember to tell you this number again. Um, but I text you every time I'm going live, I send you an actual text to your phone like you know I'm your best friend and I'm telling you hey I'm going shopping you want to come or whatever um, and I'll tell you that I'm going live and then um, if you don't text then you can go to the telegram link in at the top of here you can find it it's Tammy Loves Vintage and you can sign up for a telegram because I am definitely now in the habit of doing both uh, telegram and texting so I got myself that far uh, okay, so this, so, uh, okay, 
Oh, see, that's already cut from the last one, so why don't I just use it and just cut? No, because it's going the wrong way. <laughs> Is that the thing about it? Yeah, it's going the wrong way. Okay, so let's go too long. And let's put our little dot of glue. I'm probably out of the camera, too. Um, okay, so my phone number, in case anyone grabbed a pencil and paper, is 740-273-6693. And um, let's see, I can actually type. Oh, something went wrong. Oh, it won't let me type. What's that say? Action, you took couldn't be completed. Well, I guess I can't text you. <laughs> so, it's 740-273-6693. And again, that number is at the top of my page. Um, for it to get a text just say hi that's all you have to do it's a service that I pay for and so it will not let me text you like if you said hey can you let me know your notifications it won't let me because it's protecting you from spam um, people spamming your phone so it's it behooves you to have to text me first so uh, anyway you guys can text me 740-273-6693 and uh, just say hi, and you'll be in. Okay, so I'm taking off the top, and then, nope, and then I'm taking off the bottom, and then I gotta lay this little piece back on. Oh, you guys, I'm making this so difficult. You're all thinking, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm making it really difficult, and it's not supposed to be. Um, I don't intend it to be difficult what's happening to me usually I turn a corner here's what's going on usually I I do this and you cut it and you just take away the little piece that was laying on top and then you take away the little piece on the bottom and you've got a perfect mitered corner and typically I keep going like all the way around so I do that on all four corners what I was thinking is I just wanted to run this little piece of lace on one side. So now I need a little scallop right here and I'm not exactly sure. I think I have to do another corner and I don't think I want to screw around with it. I don't think I'm going to hold you guys up. It's more for you. You do good. Thank you, Debbie. Um, I think they're pretty great and I get a lot of um, people say well Facebook didn't tell me or that you know 20 minutes later they tell you so you can also though at the very top of anyone's video on Facebook there's three dots at the very top um, not during a live but when you're just scrolling even just a person you know on Facebook um, if you want to see more of that person click those three dots and scroll you got lots and lots of options and um, I clicked two on one of the girls I started following um, one was to add her to my favorites and then the other one was to see more but was the last thing I think and it was like to see more of her posts or something um, so you can really tell Facebook I really 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 want to see this person so um, that's all you have to do Oops, I'll get this clear out of the way uh, okay, so there's that little scoop. Oh, I don't like that dirty spot, so let's cover that up. All right, so I'm going to put this down with spray adhesive. Um, I just don't want to chance my little picture, this little girl. Um, I don't want to chance her um, getting wrinkly or anything. Although, I don't, let's see, let's do this, and then I'll lay this piece of paper here because I don't want my lace to get yucky. Let's see, you guys can't see me, okay? So I just have it like this. I put a piece of scrap paper over top of my lace because I don't want my lace to be sticky. And then I just, whoop, well, that didn't work. And then I'm just spray adhesive, okay? And then, let me get this out of the way. And then I'm gonna put her down. So I like, I'm gonna let her get um, sticky first. It takes a minute to get sticky. Uh, and it gets really sticky. And she will be fine on here. So, okay. Okay, so there's that. Okay, I just wanted to dress up a door front. I have a drawer front. I have three drawer fronts from this, um, like a dresser or something. 
I bought all three. Actually, I bought four. I sold one of them in my sale. Um, I have a private group and we had a sale this week and we had a sale last week. Um, I'm hitting them hard, but they keep wanting more. So I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to miter this one because I'm laying it on top. So I don't, I don't care about that so much on the top. Okay. So it's just a piece of tatting. Okay. So I put one on top and one on the bottom. Okay. And then I've got my little strings hanging here, which I feel like they're a little bit too long. So let me find where, this, where those strings go. There they are. Yeah, these are gonna get lost in the lace. So let's hang it out past the lace. Oh, let's hang it out past the lace. There we go. Okay. Then um, let me see here. What else did I lay out? I laid out some little things. Um, first thing, I have a rusty old um, paper clip, and I just added a piece of lace to it. And I thought that would be cute. Stuck on this picture. I need to do that before my sticky... Okay, so I thought that's kind of cute. I'll pull that up. Um, you love it, Mona. Hi. Hey, Sue. Hi, Kathy. You guys. Thank you, Susie. Um, thank you. Okay, so really I could be done. Like, it's super, super cool just like that. I'll hang a hanger on the back. But um, I got some things from a follower, Linda Glenham. Oh, which reminds me, I have a couple of Happy Meals here too that I want to order or, or I want to open before um, we close today. So I thought I always like to share so that person can see. Uh, and then I had this little old piece of snaps from Linda Glenham. She's one of our followers. Um, the little pack of little snippet of snaps and it's brown and this has got such a brown patina to it so i thought maybe we'll add this little bundle of snaps and then this old it's like a can't like someone took a shirt or a, a sleeve or something and they just ripped it yeah you can see it they just ripped it and left that fabric um there so i love that so i'm gonna put that down and then I have just a snap and again, oops, the same thing. They just ripped it off. They didn't want to, you know, cut it, take the time to cut it. So they just pulled it. And so I thought that was cool. So maybe like those two things up there. That's what I was thinking. I like it. Okay, so let's just hot glue those down. Happen to watch on your phone. Your granddaughter has your iPad. Aw, isn't that so they can run those things so so good and that's I think it's really great that they'll be able to help us all someday when they're old enough <laughs> if you can get their attention I'm gonna glue this down and if you guys are watching from your phone just turn your phone sideways okay so that it's not so small let me show you again I showed them in the beginning um, like right now it looks like this and if you turn it like this it just instantly shows you that, or it should anyway. Okay, so you get a whole screen. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna glue this one down here. Okay, then this little cool thing was in there from Linda. Um, and it's just like, a, I don't even know what it, it's like a little wheel, but I love it. Uh, and so I thought I would add that kind of down here. I don't wanna disrupt this in case someone you know, hangs necklaces or a purse or whatever. I mean, they could hang anything, a little wreath. Um, definitely, if you're gonna hang a little wreath off of it, you you don't want anything to be in the way. So, let's see here. I have a little wreath I'm gonna put on another project. I think it's too big, but we could try it. I think it's too big. Um, okay, and then let's do this. Oh gosh, I missed some comments here. Uh, hi, Debbie. Thanks, Alma. Hi, Alma. Um, 
That's exactly what's happening at your house, Sandra. <laughs> I love that. Watching from Ontario. Oh, good for you. Oh, that's awesome, Gail. Okay, so I added a little bow to this thing, and it's even cuter than I pictured it in my head. So that's awesome. All right, and then I think I need to shorten this up just a snapperoo. Okay. Oh, so cute. Okay. Oh, look, I'll move it over here and that'll distract from my whacking that off like that. So let's do that. That takes care of that end. Um, here we go. Get our little bow up here. Oh yeah, that is such a neat little piece. I love that thing. Okay, so there, can you see it? Let me see if you can see, and then, and then here's the rest of it. Come along so you guys can see. Okay, now I feel like, yeah, I feel like I, sh I could, should add a little word there. I do have some strings. Let's maybe, um, that was, let's see, I've got seam binding and strings. Maybe we're going to, I just, whenever I, um, like when I made my curtains, um, my drop cloth curtains, um, I pulled a bunch of the stringing out and put it in a bag to save. And it's nice to use these little stringy, stringy strings. So thanks. Hi, Terry. Hey, Jan. Uh, so let me read about uh, Gail's 1943 shower gift, a scrapbook, tons of doilies. Oh, awesome. Valentine's from 1926, all for $10. Yeah, that's winter chicken dinner, right? That was worth getting up and go. Oh, yeah, look. Look at that little, just a little wad of strings, but look at that texture. Okay, let's do it. Instead of a bow, because I've already got a bow down here, and I always over bow everything I feel like I love bows uh, okay people say I'm not a bow person I'm like dang I am okay so that's kind of a bowish looking stringy mess right it kind of turned out to be a bow is the way I squished it and then do I want to I think I'm going to cut just some of these loose so that it's not so bowish There we go. All right, now let me get a little button. I got a nice little um, stash of fairly small buttons, but maybe I don't want, like this one's kind of a big small button, a biggish small button. Let's go with that. Oops, now let's see if I can't pile that right back up there. I'm gonna put a dot right in the middle of that stringing. And then I'm going to lay that button. I laid it upside down so that the strings that were sewn on the button are up. Okay, so let me see where you guys can see. There you are. Okay, see that? It's a little blurry. Pull back down a little bit. Well, it depends on what. I've got two phones here. It depends on which phone I'm looking at. So there you go. You guys, I think... I think I need a word. I didn't plan on a word. Hang on. But I think I need something. Um, or, oh, wait a minute. I know what else I could do. Okay, hang on. Maybe instead of a word, uh, I'm going to get out my itty bitties. I think I'm going to do an itty bitty, and I'll show you what that is. Uh, I want the front only. Mm, unless I want to hang it. No, I don't want to hang a tag because I can't put a bow. So let's see. So an itty bitty is just, you can do them out of fabric. I did mine out of uh, papers here. And I mixed a little bit of lace. I don't want it too big. Let me find an itty bitty itty bitty. <laughs> here's a, oh no it's not. But I can rip them down. Oh here's an itty bitty itty bitty. I need a little itty bitty. <laughs> um, okay. And I think I'm going to stick that right there. Maybe I want it to go this way. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I love it. So I just sat one day on my page and I made, not on my page, in my group, and we made itty bitties. And we made um, 
for just this reason. When you need a little something, you've got buttons, you've got ribbon or bows, you've got everything, and um, you can't just put down a little piece of paper. How nice, because you don't want to take all the time to do that. And it's a fun little evening project. I made itty bitties, and then I made double-sided itty bitties, so I could hang it like a tag, because I was thinking about that earlier when I was pulling stuff out like I have this one with I put this big key on it and how cute would that be to hang that off of the knob let's see you guys can't uh, you can't see but sort of kind of like that that would be cute but I'd already tied it onto one with color so I didn't want to do that um, and I thought I better keep the knob free so anyway, the itty bitties are pretty pretty handy to have, and I just glued them onto a um, a little tag, uh, a um, 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 cardstock. I keep wanting to say chalk couture, a cardstock tag. So here we go. I think she's great. I think she's adorable. I don't think I'm going to do another thing to her. So let's let me see here. Um, oh, what did I do? Okay, hang on a minute. Um, hmm, I gotta figure out my, my equipment. <laughs> so, if I take that away, and I come over here, and I click that one, there we are, hi! So, okay, I got it. So here's just another little peekaboo, okay, at our project. You like it? Thank you. Thanks, Pam and Pat and Sue and Mary. All oh, you guys, thank you. Okay, now the last thing I want to do before I leave, I told you it would be a quickie, um, is I got a package from Marlene at Marley Grace Creations, and it feels soft. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping she didn't mess. And look what, look at her cute little, her cute little envelope. It's so cute. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's napkins. Oh, she did. I knew I knew I would know the minute I saw it. Um, Christmas, she said she was going to share with me some napkins um, because she won. Oh, wow. Look at her. This is a great look at the background. That would make a beautiful, beautiful background. This one has lemons and a Merry Christmas. Look at that. Merry Christmas. But look at this one. She's, oh, she's got, oh my gosh, look at this one. I've never seen a napkin like that. Wow. Love, 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 love. Marlene, wow. How cute are these? Oh, look, look, a bird and the little, oh my gosh, how cute is that? Is it a napkin? There's several. Oh, they're all hooked. They are napkins. Huh. She's cut them out. It looks like she maybe has cut these out. How cute. Um, oh, and look. Oh, she gave me lots of ornaments. And a Santa. Oh, look at this one. Oh, wow. I don't see napkins like this when I'm out in the wild. <laughs> I don't. I. Oh, that's what I was thinking, Joy. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It is a ticket for the um, the North Pole. How cool is that? Yes, we're going to do something with some napkins for sure. There you go. And then we have, um, some, I was going to say spices. They're not spices. They're herbs. <laughs> or as Martha Stewart would say, herbs. Does that bug anybody else? Is it an herb or a herb? <laughs> you would think Martha Stewart would know. So I don't want to argue with her, but I always thought they were herbs. <laughs> what do you guys think? You say the H or no? <laughs> uh, and then I have a box from, or a bag from Crystal Darby. So let's see what Crystal sent. Yes, Kathy. She's so sweet. It bugs you too? Yeah, me too, Pat. So when I have to say the word, I'm like, oh, how do I, how do I say it? There are a few words like that. The H is silent. Ah, that's what I think, but Martha Stewart says it. Okay, Crystal Darby. Oh my goodness, she's got all kinds of stuff. Okay, we got it all. Hard. No H. 
<laughs> I think you're right. Thinking of you. Oh, look, we can do something with that. Uh, dear Tammy, I hope this card finds you well and happy. These ugly crafty pieces to you in thinking maybe you can use them in cutting them up. I was compulsive on a live feed that sells and I bought. Why? I really don't know and I really don't craft, but I love watching you and what you do. If you don't want these couple of things, just pitch them. <laughs> May the Lord bless you with a wonderful summer and all. So sweet. And the family, by the way, tell Earl I said hello. Oh, Crystal. The Bee Honeycomb. Thank you. As left over as appreciation gifts from my daughter's baby shower. Aw, how sweet is this? <laughs> yes. Cynthia, yeah. Okay, let's see what she's got. She said she bought ugly things because she was compulsed to do it. And then she wants to see what I'm going to do with them. Oh, these are nice. And it changes colors. Oh, look. So I'm, I'm immediately thinking... Um, adding little seam binding, um, little seam binding ribbons in between each one. And let's see here. Yeah, I would add some seam binding to um, make it a little more, not that it needs to be more fluffy. Um, and then, gosh, you could tie, a, you could tie an itty bitty, a double sided one, you know, like a tag and you could tie hang down a key and just little different things to hang down every now and again um very cute wonder if this was the baby shower colors and then i'm thinking look at this i'm, I'm treating you like a camera's there but look what if you treated that like a little pom-pom flower you know if you gathered it because it's long and skinny what if you bent it down and made a little flower you could make a little bouquet with these colors too. If any of you picked this up, you could do that. And then you could add to it. You could put, you know, um, book pages behind it and do it. That's cute. I see potential. I'm not throwing it away. My guess, guess what I found this morning, $8 huge, but oh, an antique and an antique six foot old primitive table. Oh, Kathy. I didn't need, but I couldn't pass it up. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, send me a picture. A little yellow chick. That's a great idea. That's a super great idea. Yeah, I love the muted color in it. All right, let's see what else we have here. I feel like I'm doing the mystery box challenge. Oh, this is what she gave for her um, shower. Thank you for being here. Oh, how cute. They're honeybee soaps. Uh, wash your hands. I'll read it all later. But they're little honeybee soaps. How cute with a honey dauber um, to, to pull your honey out of the jar. How cute is that? Thank you for being here. It says B-E-E-I-N-G. How cute. Very cute. Thank you, Crystal. Okay, here comes another thing she didn't know what to do with. Oh, now, hmm. She was inspired. Now, let me think about this. So, what is this? Bracelets? Hmm. It is bracelets. It's not awful. It's interesting. Hmm. Boy, this would be a good one for the mystery box challenge because these little things look like Mother of Pearl um, cutouts. I don't know what the black is. Other, I don't know. This is like a I don't know what that is. It's kind of spongy, but yet it looks like wood. And these definitely look like wood. It's a bracelet. Um, I'm guessing it's a bracelet. Let me show you guys a little closer. So could I, why couldn't I add this on as a um, hang down? Like what, let's see, let me see here. With the bow, you're challenging me, Crystal. <laughs> Let's see. I can't throw anything away. You all know that. My husband just heard me say that, and he's probably thinking, yeah, she's right. He's in having lunch. Let's see. I'm just trying to use that bow to see. It's a little bit big. Uh, and then these little, these little beads in between are interesting, too. I think this is kind of cool. The beads could be strung... Um, if you snipped these off, which I bet you can't without 
it falling apart because it's on elastic. If you took these off, these, this part here would be a great, again, way to hang a key or something when you're trying to pull black. Um, yeah, I think we can use this as well. So we'll see. Hi, Kim. Good morning. Uh, so there you go. For those of you that joined late, thank you, Crystal, and thank you, Marlene, for thinking of me and sending me some treasures to create with. And then this is what we made today um, during the live. So if you joined us late, you can replay and see what um, what we were thinking there. I'm trying to get the whole thing in. There you go. <laughs> so um, I'm going to put a little hanger on the back so that this can be hung. Let's look at that wreath. Hang on. Let me just see. It's too big. I know. Um, I got it for another project I had in mind um, at Hobby Lobby, but I just wanted to see it. It's way too big. But I think that's not a bad idea if you had the right size. Oh, yeah, it's way too big. Um, wait a minute. I have a wreath down here. This is better sized. I just remembered that. Oh, yeah, this one's much better. These are on my website, actually. <laughs> We're a shameless little plug. Um, let's see. It's a little too, like, thick to fit super well. So, let's see. I'd have to tie... I'd have to tie it to the hook. But see, I almost lose my itty bitty. I definitely lose that. There we go. Just have to manipulate it. Yeah, but the little wreath, it's a wisteria wreath. Um, and I probably almost need to snip a couple pieces so that it looks wreathish, unless I can bend them back. Yeah, you can. Let's see. Bend it back. There you go. So yeah, that works too. That works too. Anyway, there you go, guys. Just wanted to give you some ideas as my as my little brain swirls. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to put some wire on it or a bow or some way to hold it to it. But yeah, thanks. Thanks, Joy. Thanks, Susie. Thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. So thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. And um, just know that I... Um, I redid my work table and in doing so I was like feeling all organized. I, I don't think I've ever seen my work table completely empty. So it was kind of nice. <laughs> so I started pulling things and laying out projects. I have a bunch of them coming your way. So um, I thought I'm going to make myself do this. So anyway, um, I hope you have a great day and I hope you look forward to my projects as much as I am. Uh, it was hard to pick one today after I had so many. I've never really done that before. So I'm, I'm looking at them all. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. Like I may, might, maybe I'll do another one tonight. We'll see. <laughs> so we'll see what I end up getting into. So anyway, you guys, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. I got to figure out how to get out of here because um, I'm on a camera system. How, how do I, oh, I think I just touched the live. So, um, Headed to your workroom. Okay, Kathy, have fun. See you, Norma. See you guys. See you all later. Bye. Did that work? No. Oh, here, in session popped up. Okay, bye. No. Okay. Uh, would you like to stop the stream? Yes. <laughs> stop recording. Bye.